they told me to go. true to Torah, who are true to the Almighty and His Torah, have come here today to protest and stand in opposition to this so-called representative of the Jewish nation, God forbid, the so-called mayor of Jerusalem, who is giving a press conference across from us in the Tavern on the Green. He is coming to state that he represents the Jewish nation is inviting everybody to come with all the immorality, with all the profanity, to come up and to God forbid profane the holy city of Jerusalem. But this is only one little link on this mournful, on this terrible chain of the state of Israel. Because in truth the whole existence of the state of Israel is one defiling of holiness, is one rebellion against the Almighty because we as the Jewish people are forbidden to have a state. It is direct contradiction to the teachings of the Torah that tells us that we as a Jewish people are forbidden to have our own entity. And this sin gets compounded thousandfold because this illegitimate, illegal state was created in a land that was inhabited by a people, the Palestinian people, and these people are being mercilessly oppressed by this illegitimate state, this evil, this works of Satan, the state of Israel. And this mayor, this so-called mayor, comes to New York and invites everybody to come and enjoy this terrible tragedy, this works of Satan, where people are suffering, where the Jewish people and the Palestinian people are suffering, both physically and spiritually. The Jewish people's souls are being ripped out of their heart, ripped out of them. The Jewish people's souls are being torn out because they are being misled and torn away from Judaism because they are perpetrating this terrible crime, this evil of an existence that is forbidden to the Jewish people and every aspect of it, the oppression of the Palestinian people which flies in the face of the whole Torah of compassion and that we're forbidden to steal, steal and kill and so forth. So our identity is kidnapped. God's name is being desecrated. And this person is coming here and claiming that he is the true representative of the Jews and that he can call people to enjoy this terrible desecration of the Almighty. Let the world know that he has no right to speak in the name of Jews. That these are thieves. That these are, are base criminals. And what they're doing in Jerusalem, what they're doing to the Jewish people and to the Palestinian people is a tragedy. And that we should pray for the speedy and peaceful dismantlement of the rebellion against God so that Jews should once again do what is expected of them and do what is required of them to serve God, to learn the Torah, to practice the Torah. And that is our covenant and what we're here for on this world, to serve the Almighty. And that the land of Palestine should be once again a free Palestine. And the rightful owners, the people, the Palestinian people, should be able to get back their respect and be given back their properties. Arabs and Jews should once again be able to live it together in peace and harmony as we've had for hundreds of years, that we can show as a Jewish people our thankfulness and gratefulness for our friends, our brothers from Palestine who have given 
such an exemplary hospitality in, in all the Arab lands that have given such a hospitality for the Jewish people that we can once again show our appreciation and live in peace and serve God and may the day come in our day soon with the name and the glory of the Almighty will be recognized throughout the world and everybody will serve him together in peace and harmony. Amen.